With his key task being to bring the national carrier back to profitability, Kenya Airways CEO Sebastian Mikos is focused on short-term projects such as revising the airline's travel routes that will pull the airline from its five-year loss-making streak. However, financial restructuring remains unresolved despite a proposal for 11 banks and the government to convert the over 50 billion shillings owed by the airline to equity. We are right in the very end of our negotiations with the banks. It hopefully will be concluded soon. I don't want to say anything else because it's, 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 it's almost at its conclusion and we, we don't want to do anything that would disrupt that conclusion. In the proposed delicate recovery plan, the 11 banks through a special purpose vehicle called KQ Lenders Company Limited will acquire 35.7% of the airline from the 23 billion shillings owed to them. The government, on the other hand, will increase their shareholding from the current 29.8% to 46.5% from the 27 billion shillings owed. With the government taking on a larger share of the airline, KQ has called for an enabling environment that protects the national carrier from undue competition. We don't want to close our airspace, but you know, when you find that it, uh, Emirates is really predicting that they're going to bring a fourth flight into Norwich, daily flight into Norwich, come on guys, you're destroying, our, you're destroying your own airline. Because you know they can undercut you because they don't care. They, they will eat our lunch for us. Speaking during a media roundtable, the KQ CEO defended his move to recruit a team of foreign experts for three months to aid its turnaround strategy. The advantage of these guys is that I trust them and I work with them and they could hit the ground within, I think, three weeks. In this industry, the problem is that nobody has the ultimate knowledge and it doesn't mean that we will not make mistakes because out, I believe that out of ten decisions that I'm going to make, two might be a mistake. Miko says the new team comprising of five Polish nationals will drive and guard cohesion of KQ's strategy, build a reporting system for monitoring of performance indicators, as well as boost revenue and improve customer experience. Mombiwa Citizen Live at 9.